Welcome to Module 6 of the 15 Minute Pen Builder. This is Josh again. This is just a quick one. This is about printing your CDs. Your art is needed, so get your CD right. That's one from me. Having uh, recently experienced not quite getting this uh, step of the process right, I thought I'd share with you a couple of quick tips as to how to make sure your CD is right for release to your fans and to professional industry people. Because any small errors in this stage can really uh, cost you a lot of money and can also be very... Uh, for lack of a better term, heartbreaking as a band to get your uh, product back and it's not quite right. So we'll uh, quickly move on and get through these. So hopefully you can avoid making some of the mistakes that I've seen other bands make and I've also made myself in the past in bands I've been in. Pressing your CDs, mistakes to avoid. Not proofing your spelling, artwork formatting and track listing. That's something I've actually had happen to me, as I'll, uh, I'll explain in a second. So basically you want to triple check to ensure complete accuracy. Believe me, it hurts big time when you get your brand spanking new CD back and it has any type of copy errors. That can be a spelling mistake or a track listing not in the right order, having the wrong numbers on things, having punctuation after a certain number and not after another one. Those are all uh, avoidable. It really just comes down to getting someone to read it for you other than yourself because you're unlikely to see the same mistakes that you've already made yourself. We'll move on. Not including a web address or Facebook address now that it's 2013 and all your contact information on all pieces of media. This includes the album artwork, the album booklets, the back cover pieces if they're separate pieces of paper, and the physical disc itself. Essentially, you want to put your website address on everything. So you might be asking, uh, well, why would I do that? It's basically because you want people to be able to work out where to find your band, particularly online, even if they happen to have lost all but one piece of the actual package. They might see the CD and think, well, that sounds great, but how do I get in contact with this band or where's the best place to find them? I wouldn't mind ordering another copy of the CD so I have the cover or vice versa. And when it comes to the press, if they've actually lost the disc, but they remember just from the packaging or the artwork that it happened to be something they enjoyed at the time and they wanted to follow it up, that they can find you without actually uh, needing your CD to hear what you sound like. So you want to have your website on everything. Don't skip that step. You'll be amazed at uh, how bookers and media people and even fans at home just uh, throw things around these days when they lo they go home and load their uh, CD right onto the computer or they take one quick listen to it if they're in the media and then move on. So you want to have that on everything. Uh, just as far as picking a CD printer, this is something I've uh, not done myself in the past. I'll put enough uh, due diligence into and ended up having a lot of trouble with printers. Let's do compare product reviews, testimonials, prices and product mixes of several CD printers before moving ahead. Essentially because to the wrong people your art is just extra work for them. They're not going to go out of their way to uh, fix your spelling or let you know that they think something looks funny. That you might have uh, accidentally put the wrong numbers in the wrong order or anything like that. Some, most of the time they're not even going to know when you've made mistakes. They're just going to put the artwork in as is assuming that you've uh, checked it out yourself. So uh, really take it upon yourself to make sure everything's right. And uh, we'll just go to the 15-minute band builder module 6 actions now, just to encapsulate what I've just said into a few action steps. That is to proofread, proofread, proofread. Now, as I said before, I've actually had some bad experiences with this myself, with the Candela Lie. We actually did do the proofreading stage, but accidentally attached the old art file to what the uh, information we sent off to the printer. So that wasn't exactly the same. But the end product was, we ended up with a CD that had a few uh, copy errors. The side title running down the spine of the actual disc was spelt incorrectly. It was missing a letter that was pretty embarrassing. We did sell a lot of CDs at our CD launch and a few people mentioned it on the first night. So that was a bit of a downer. After a pretty successful launch and making a decent amount of our sales that night to have people come back and say, well, I'm sure the CD is going to be awesome. You guys were great tonight, but you realize there's spelling mistakes on here. That was pretty embarrassing. And uh, yeah, that was just really a miscommunication between all of us as to uh, where the uh, process was at. Another way to ensure that the proofreading is done well is to get people beyond the band because it's unlikely that you're going to see mistakes that you've already missed unless you give it a decent amount of time, which is another thing. You probably need to get your artwork done well in advance so you have several times to go back and look at it so you pick up things you had did, uh, that you didn't see the time before when you were looking at it. The way to avoid that is to get your friends, family and educated network members to proofread it also. So anyone you know 
particularly if they happen to be good uh, spellers or good with grammar or anything like that, just to check over it and make sure that uh, they think that it's correct. And I agree with you that everything's worded correctly and that I can easily find web addresses and all those types of things on every piece of the package. Make your expectations clear to your choice of CD printer. That includes delivery time, the time window that you actually have to get the CDs back when you need them by, any specific instructions that they need to follow when dropping them off if you need them in a certain place other than your house, for example, how you would like them to be treated in transit, and uh, the quality of the actual product that you expect or that you need. I've also made that mistake and not outlining exactly uh, what I expected from the printer as far as how professional they were and how uh, quickly they delivered the product and ended up with a uh, bit of a debacle on my hands when my last uh, CD launch happened with the Candela Light, the band that I'm in. We actually didn't get the CDs back until uh, under 24 hours before the gig. And that happened to be the same CD that had the few errors, so that was all pretty stressful. So hopefully this uh, module has helped you to avoid a few of those things. And just remember, you can always email me at Josh DIY Music Movement at Gmail if you need any more help. And module seven that we'll move on to now is to uh, take the concept of releasing a little bit further. Module seven, digital releases. Okay, I'll see you in module seven.